I am adorning the title on this 10 4 over and out <laughs> October 4th, 2021. I am adorning the new titles. Yes, I've been previously brotherra.com. That is still my website, brotherra.com. Yes, pump myself up, advertise this type of. Hmm. So I'm adorning the title Reverend Dr. Richard Wilton Arthur Jr. Reverend. I revere the end because I acknowledge that the end is the middle of the next cycle. The next cycle, cycle, cycle. Oh, wait a minute. How many cycles are there? Oh, we just passed the spring equinox. Hmm. So, did I say spring? No, that was the fall equinox. Oh, which cycle is it? I'm so confused. Oh, how do I work my Wi-Fi? How do I work my cell phone so I can stay an inwardly divided individual? I don't give a fuck a rat's ass about a cycle. Hmm. I as the Reverend Revering the End, Doctor Dealing with the Philosophy of the Psychology, the Distinctions Between I as Biological Living Light. What does that mean, biological living light? Oh, that means the melanin on the surface of my skin. There's seven layers of skin. And I appreciate the sun rays as a child of the sun. And as a child of the sun, with liquid moisture in my first eye. How come, what do you mean the first, huh? What are you talking about? Well, five minutes into the segment, 2.35 on 10.4, over and out. All those years of watching a calcified pineal gland value structure that values dead slaveholders and accumulation of, oh, I can own an individual mindset. As one who's studying divinity or studying myself, that's my philosophy is seeing I am divine. Why is that corrupt or a crime? To believe in my own motherfucking mind. Oh no, we can't have you niggas thinking positive about yourself. The fuck is wrong? No, you got to believe in a goddamn Superman or a Gomer Pyle or a Gilligan's Island. Forgive me, Master Heege. Master Heege Robinson of the Roxbury Tai Chi Academy. RoxburyTaiChiAcademy.com. Let me give homage to what's inside of my head. 
and get him pump up the neighborhood mind. The barber, <laughs> Sly, you like the Reverend Richard W. Arthur Jr. Sly cut. Yes. Did I even brush my hair? Is my hair going the right direction? Do I have, is it going with the flow? With Master Heege teaching me about meditation and movement and the thought process of my mind and issuing chi and not stopping my mind and Letting the thought go. Hmm. So being able to move smoothly inside my seven layers of skin as a divine energy that believes in his touch, believes in the power of his own mind and hand, his physicality. Oh, wait a minute, the first eye, the pyramid, built by the ancestors, there was Chichen Itza and Giza pyramids around the world. What, even Washington Monument has a pyramid. Oh, they have one of those bunker hills. Oh, what is that, a Tekken? or well, the Bunker Hill Monument, all of this stolen African architecture, all revering the first eye, north, south, east, and west, the four corners of humanity, the spirituality, the intellect, the physicality, and the emotionalism. Should I be emotional about the stealing of my divinity and being forced media that manipulates the mind and the consciousness to doubt and fear self? and not access the full potential of who you are and maintaining a slave diet? How can you reach this type of spirituality eating what we have been, wait a minute, there's five, five elements in the universe, five digits on a hand, and are we dealing with Oh, uh, the sun, the earth, the metal, the water, and what comes up out the earth is the tree, the wood. Are we utilizing, you just saw me take that hit, the wood, what, is vegetation, comes up out of the ground. We're only on the third planet away from the sun. Is there something about our decision-making process, our philosophy, our thinking, that what we think matters? Is it possible that there is mind over matter? I had to throw that in there, Reverend Richard. <laughs> Reverend, yeah, doctor, what is my name? <laughs> Who gives a fuck about a title and valuing dead slaveholders? Do I need your permission to accept me for being me? Who teaches this shit? Oh, Harvard Divinity School. Really? It was a calcified pineal gland, and it's all about the value structure of accumulating dead slaveholders or the thought process of being able to own somebody when you yourself can own yourself, but not really. 
but you allow yourself to become one with the universe. Is that possible in your thought processes at 11 minutes in? Are you capable of seeing the substantial and insubstantial? One and one, I am the one. And even on my side, I'm an equal sign. Can we get our minds all wrapped around our own behind? The largest muscle in the body, the gluteus maximus. Connect the gluteus maximus to the mandula obligata inside the cerebellum. Oh my goodness, that replica flick with Keanu Reeves now, that's a calcified pineal gland digital structure. But what about adding the element of your own spirituality? You being still and becoming one with your environment. You becoming that living energy. You believing in yourself. You not doubting, not fearing but having faith. What does the Bible say? Walk by faith, not by sight. For faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. I am that substantial and insubstantial. Do I allow my mind to be contained or do I push with my thought into what, above and beyond the virtual world, but into being one in my stillness and tapping into my divinity, going deep within my own Don Tin, my own just inches below my belly button, and connect that energy tightening my anus, not losing any energy, allowing the energy to rise up both sides of my spine, up to the baby soft spot and down to the first eye. With my tongue up and then allow that energy to go down into my digestive system, bringing myself from the insubstantial to the substantial into my stomach and becoming one with the universe. Is this not conceivable or am I just off my fucking rocker? That nigga is crazy. Change the channel. Don't ever put on that YouTube channel again. <laughs> I don't know about no Reverend Dr. Richard W. Isler Jr. That motherfucker... He's a damn fool. <laughs> but I've been your host for today's YouTube 10-4 over and out. I'm going to be still for the last 10 seconds.